To insert a hyperlink, like a website address, as in this example, please have all new clients learn more about us at, well, let's have them go to my website, which is www.dreamforce.us. As you recall in an earlier training video, whenever you hit the space bar, the autocorrect feature kicks in and takes a look at what you just typed in, well, the word, or in this case, the URL, and if it finds in its database a match with the word that you typed in, like a misspelled word, then it will replace it with its correct spelling, and in this case, the URL, it'll convert this into a hyperlink because it sees the prefix as www. and it ends with the suffix like .us, .com, .org. Hit the space bar and there you go. You get the underline, changes the color, and when you hover over it, you can see in the pop-up that if you want to go to this website, for me, I have to hold down the control key. For Carrie, when she gets the email message, she won't have to. And the reason why I have to hold down the control key is because I'm in edit mode. So hold down the control key, you get the finger, go ahead and click on it, and there you go. Hey, my website. Go ahead and purchase some videos, support the cause. Cool. Let's go ahead and close out. And then if you want to remove the hyperlink, go ahead and right click on it and go down where you get the options to edit it, open it, copy it, remove it. And then if you want to convert this again into a hyperlink or any text or image for that matter that's in the body of the message, after you select it, go ahead and right click on it and go down to link. And then down below in the address field, go ahead and type in the complete URL for that website that you want the person to go to when they click on it. Like if it's Disneyland.com or in this case Dreamforce.us. But keep in mind that if that URL is super long, you may not want to type it in. Instead, go ahead and copy it, then come down below and paste over what's there. And then instead of that being reflected up here as the text to display, because by default it's going to display what's down below in the address field, you can instead not have them being overwhelmed by three or four lines of a hyperlink. Go ahead and just type in something simple for them, like, hey, this is my store. So that way, when you click OK, it says store, but it's a hyperlink that when you hover over it, you can see in the pop-up, well, it's a very short URL, but if it was a super long one, it would be listed there. And then go ahead and control, click on it to open it up, which brings up a good point. If you get an email where it's got a new URL and you hover over it and there's a different URL, well, you can check because maybe you're getting spam and it's not what you think, that when you click on it, you get redirected. You get taken to some other website. So it's a good check. In any case, let me go ahead and send this off to Carrie, have her reply. Let's go to our inbox and then click on send receive. Double click and I can just come down here. I get the finger automatically. Don't have to hold down the control key and I can go right to my website and buy tons of videos. Now, if you come up here and click on reply or forward, like I click on reply, I'm in edit mode now. So if I come down below, now I have to go ahead and hold down the control key to click on it in order to test it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.